and uh, kind of with a website I was really obsessed with, this um, website where people would just post um, anonymous online confessions. And so in a way I just kind of um, recognised in this website this, uh, this need, I guess, to, um, for all these people had to kind of feel absolved. And, and what that spoke to was, I guess, this sense of great guilt and shame that was kind of... Uh, uh, sitting underneath a lot of the interactions we just have day-to-day uh, -day in our lives. Eight gigabytes of hardcore pornography is about all of us. It's about shame and humiliation and fear and guilt and hope and aspiration and the way we think our lives should turn out according to how the world tells us our, world, our lives should turn out and the, the deep anxiety that comes from your life not turning out the way you thought it was supposed to. Like um, uh, Stevie and Andrea are really kind of looking to the audience and I'm um, communicating with individual audience members because it exists in a way in this space of, um, of kind of confession. The idea is that it's just two people standing on the stage kind of uh, reeling off the, a lot of the things that most people are way too afraid to, to say. It's unlike a lot of writing that's happening for the stage around the world. I think it's actually quite a, revel a revelatory play and I, I think it's very contemporary in the way it, it uses all bits of theatre history that have been on our stages in the last 10 years and uses it quite mercilessly to, to target the vulnerable parts of an audience. So I, I, don't think it's, I don't think it's a comfortable fit but I think it's a very necessary one.